All right. So, man, what an interesting turn of events today. Um, for those of you who aren't familiar with him, uh, Sauce Walker is actually a rapper from, God, Dallas or Houston, Texas. I know the Texans who are watching this are going to be very mad at me for not knowing that. I'm going to step out on a limb and say that I'm pretty sure he's from Houston. Now, with that being said, this is a gentleman who has had several altercations verbally more times than not with several members from the YSL record label or crime organization, however you decide to view them. Essentially, uh, there have been several times where he has gone back and forth with people like Gunna, uh, people like Young Thug for uh, being who they are. And it was very clear to us that they had bad blood between the TSF, the Sauce Factory Camp, and YSL, Young Slime Life. So, when Gunna got exposed or when it was reported that he did cooperate and took his plea deal, Sauce Walker was one of the first people to be outspoken in essentially clowning him and clowning everybody who didn't see it coming. Some would say rightfully so, because, you know, I'm not the type of person to talk about right or wrong when you're intermingled into um, beef, for lack of better term, meaning that all is fair in love and war, and these two factions were at war. So demoralizing your opponent by making fun of and amplifying or magnifying their weaknesses, it's natural. But the wins, the highs, and the lows all have to be measured. And when we are presented with the new information that we just found out with here today on Sunday, December 19th, forgive me if I get that wrong, was that 14 members of the TSF camp have been indicted on RICO charges in a very eerily similar uh you know, criminal investigation to what actually happened to YSL, ironically. So we had two days ago, Sauce Walker went on a long video, not long, a couple minutes, laughing, poking fun at YSL and Gunna for snitching and cooperating and basically getting caught up in this issues that they did in the first place. And here we are 48 hours later and members of his team are involved in the very same issue. Now, whether snitching has been involved in this indictment or will be involved in the future trial or case that is going on against TSF is to be determined. But just the irony of the fact that days after making fun of these people for going through a RICO case, you're involved in your own RICO case is just, I mean, the irony is obvious. Forgive me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that the TSF RICO case that they're involved in is actually at a federal level. Uh, this is breaking news, just happened um, you know, hours ago, so I can't say for sure. I don't know if Texas has RICO cases because I do know that state level RICO cases is something that I'm pretty sure is unique to Georgia and maybe a few other states. I'm not the most up-to-date or uh, well, uh, well read on <laughs> these kind of things, so... If you have any any information to offer in that regard, please let me know in the comments below. Um, we'll be continuing to talk about this situation as it progresses. But yeah, man, uh, I think the moral of the story is I'm not even going to say watch what you say because he didn't say anything that would have turned around and brought these things on to him. I agreed with a lot of the things that Sauce was saying about staying true, not trying to pretend like you aren't something that you are and how obvious it was that Ghana was what he was. So let's stay tuned.